Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Tuesday night, the Mets won their fourth in a row as they came from four runs down to beat the Phillies 7 to 4. Mets fell behind against Joe Blanton. Hunter Pence had a home run in the first inning, but the uh, Miguel Batista was able to hold the fort. Three scoreless innings before he gave way to the bullpen, which was solid, and then the Mets rallied late. Big roll, you know, big outs, and same with Birdie. Came in, and, you know, they had a you know, tough spot in that eighth inning. Um, Birdie got a big, big, got a big out from Wigginton. Uh, we know we got talent. You know, we're just waiting for our guys to to perform as they are um, believe they can do it. And our pitching staff is very decent. You know, we have some guys there that can pitch in the starting rotation. Our bullpen is a very strong bullpen. But he was told from day one that we are a late scoring team. We just have to hold on to the offense and we should end up with a win. Well, they got four in the seventh and all four of those runs again were four straight hits with two outs to, to take the lead. The Phillies did make a base running a, a, a defensive blunder on a wild throw by Pete Orr who made two errors tonight that scored David Wright. That was the go ahead run. Well, yeah, you know, again, we were in a great spot. We had, we had speed. We had speed on both sides, which really put them in a tough spot when you're running that, you know, that in that defensive station and that. Um, and even though when they when they decide to go to third, I mean, Nunes is going to get back anyway. He was he's going to be safe. And fortunately, the ball bounced away from him. But it was a great job by David to get in the rundown to draw the, to make you know the play happen. Um, that was a tough one. I know David was wanting me to go the whole time and. And uh, I could see Jimmy waiting for me to go. And then once he threw it, um, you know, it was a short throw. I started to go, and then it was a short throw to Pete, and I knew it was toast. And so I went back and then um, threw away. Yeah, it was, you know, one hop Hunter, and he's got a good arm out there. And, um, you know, I kind of peeked over my shoulder and saw, um, you know, the base run around in third. It was, you know, about the same time that Hunter got the ball. So I knew it was going to be bang, bang on a good throw. And, you know, so I was just trying to get him to, to, to cut it and throw his offline a little bit and then, you know, then just was try to stay in the run down long enough for the guy to maybe score. The clutch hitting has just been unbelievable. Lucas Duda, so many young players, Gary, that have had started off the game like Duda and Neuenheis, 0 for 3, and you think they're youth, they may get nervous. And what did Duda do? He got two hits off two left-handers late in the ballgame, got two RBIs, Neuenheis, Got a sacrifice fly in a base hit late in the ball game. Drove in two runs. So, uh, you know, the big hit was David Wright, obviously. So the Mets are just clicking. They're playing good defense. They're getting good bullpen. And things are going their way. Those were big hits. And those were big hits. Um, matter of fact, we're sitting there today. You know, Lucas has been struggling a little bit against lefties. But the fact that he had the flu so bad, you know, he's really been struggling. I, I, I'm really concerned about the fatigue factors more than anything. But... Uh, we were talking about the possibility, hey, look, if the bases are loaded, we might have to hit for him here. Um, so, you know, I thought David's gate put us in a good spot, his hit, and then the run down, we got the tie and run, so it allowed Lucas to go up there. That's what it's going to take for us to be successful. You know, we're not, we're not going to be able to, um, you know, go out there and, and uh, you know, match up a lot of times with these teams, you know, um, you know, up and down the, the scorecard, you know, so we're going to need different guys to step up on different days. You know, today I think, you know, Duda did an excellent job. Um, you know, our bullpen came in, was fantastic again. Um, you know, it just seemed like we got contributions up and down the lineup, you know, whether it's, you know, defensively, offensively, um, you know, pitching, it just seemed like a lot of different people kicked it in the last couple of days. And taking advantage of a shorthanded Philadelphia team, the Mets clinched their second series in Philadelphia already this year. You know, we've been that, that's you know when, when we play defense and pitch, we win, and and that's what we've been doing lately, and you know, kind of been doing it in dramatic fashion lately. But you know, defense and pitching, and we've been getting both those. Well, you know, it's a uh, the scheduling we saw we saw earlier in spring training. Gosh, going to Philadelphia twice, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be the second week of April. I mean, May we're going to be twice in Philadelphia. Turns out with the injuries to Utley and Howard, 
We've caught, caught the Phillies in a bad time. We're going to have two trips in here and uh, two series. It's guaranteed. Going for a sweep tomorrow. That's we'll have Dylan G on the mound against Cliff Lee, who's coming off the disabled list as they go for the sweep on Wednesday night. 6.30 the coverage for Pepsi Max pregame live on SNY. That'll do it for WB Mason Postgame Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.